Guys, this is Basketball Star 1130. I'm here with my second video of this series. Well, maybe not a series, but I'm predicting the NFL award winners for the 2019-2020 season. Um, I just finished uploading to the channel my, <coughs> excuse me, um, my um, Comeback Player of the Year video. So go check that out. Anyway, today I'm here with um, my predicting my my coach of the year video. Um, yes, yeah, so the way this is gonna work, I'm gonna list five guys, and before the number, if I reveal my number one pick, which is my prediction, I'm gonna have two honorable mentions. So let's get into it. My number, the number five, fifth best odds in my in my opinion, is um, John Gruden, head coach of the Oakland Raiders. If he can get Antonio Brown. I don't, first of all, I don't think this team will be that good. Are they regretting getting Antonio Brown? Possibly, probably, but because he's so much drama with his foot, his frostbite, and then his helmet. But, um, yeah, that's number five, John Gruden. Number four, in my opinion, number fourth best odds to win this award, Coach of the Year, is Frank Reich, head coach in the Indianapolis Colts. Now, before Andrew Luck retired, I might have told you he was my winner. Maybe one of the top candidates, if not winner. But, um, now he's... Not too much of a drop off at number four because Joe Kopi Brissett will start. If they make the playoffs, I think that's a um, win, in my opinion. I think that's a very good season, in my opinion, since the last look. And if they make the playoffs with Joe Kopi Brissett, I think they will still, though. But um, number three, Coach of the Year, best odds to win Coach of the Year, in my opinion. Third best odds is going to be. Sean McDermott, head coach of my Buffalo Bills. I'm not being biased in this one. A lot of people think the Bills are going to have a very good season. I think they're going to have anywhere from 9 to 11 wins. If we don't get 9 wins, at least 9 wins this season, maybe Sean McDermott will be fired. I think that would be pretty st silly and stupid, though, because I like Sean McDermott, one of our best coaches coaches in a very 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 long time but um Sean McDermott has a real shot to win coach of the year now number two now these top two guys really separate themselves um from the other three you can see kind of a pattern here when we go through but number two in my opinion to win best odds to win coach of the year um is Freddie Kitchens head coach of the Cleveland Browns a lot of people are penciling him in as the number one the winner, but um, not. I don't think that. I know they have Baker Mayfield. I know they have a um Oda Beckham Jr. I know they have Jarvis Landry, David and Joku, and they have a one-two punch at running back, Kareem Hunt. Even though he's suspended for the first eight weeks, but Kareem Hunt and Nick Chubb, and they trade Duke Johnson Jr. Um, they have a lot of talent and on defense. Drafted Greedy Williams, have Denzel Ward. Trade for Olivier Vernon, Sean Richardson, sign on free agency. A lot of pieces that um they're going to build around you know that their team is young though and that's what I'm worried about they not I mean there's veterans on defense especially the offense though offense is very young and the offensive line is a little bit questionable too um there's some nice pieces there like Joel Batonio and Austin Corbett the other ones are just a little questionable though I think Joel Batonio is the only established one on the offensive line but um back to Freddie Kitchens if he can get this talent going you know We'll have to see how it all meshes together. It looks like the most talented NFL team on paper, and the best team in the NFL on paper, but we, in terms of talent. But we have to see how they all mesh together for Freddie Kitchens. Um, now before I reveal my number one pick for Coach of the Year, I'm gonna reveal two honorable mentions I have. The first honorable mention I have is Matt Lafleur, um, the new Packers head coach. Um. Okay, so I don't think he has much of a chance to win this because apparently Matt LaFleur and Rodgers does not get along with head coaches that well, that well at all. It came out that he didn't get along with Mike McCarthy. That's why he was fired. And it's coming out that he's disagreeing on practice methods with Matt LaFleur already. Every day it seems like there's something new between Aaron Rodgers and Matt LaFleur. I don't think Matt LaFleur but can win it, but the, if they have this – if they can jump out to a hot start in the season and have a really good season, maybe make it deep in the playoffs, then you might consider him for coach of the year. I just don't think it will be. And um, my second honorable mention is mention is Mike Zimmer, head coach of the Minnesota Vikings. If he can fix Kirk Cousins, not really fix him, but if Kirk Cousins have a really better year, they have a star. Um, uh, in my opinion, the best wide receiver duo in the NFL with Stephon Diggs and um Adam Thielen. Um. 
and they have a really good running back. He just keeps getting injured. And Delvin Cook, if all that can really, you know, if all that can click at one time, if the Vikings have a really good year, you might consider Mike Zimmer. But my number one pick, my prediction for Coach of the Year, NFL Coach of the Year, 2019-2020 season. Some people might be surprised by this, but Sean Payton, uh, um, head coach of the New Orleans Saints. He's got Drew Brees. He's got Michael Thomas. I think, in my opinion, it is Super Bowl or bust season for the Saints because Drew Brees' contract ends this year and he'll probably retire at the end of this year. If not this year, then he'll sign a one-year deal again with the Saints. He's not going anywhere but the, outside of the Saints. But um, he'll sign a one-year deal maybe and then play for one more year. He's 40 years old now, so it's Super Bowl or bust time. All the pieces are there. Their defense is growing. You got Marshawn Lattimore. You got all those pieces. Demario Davis. That defense line is okay. I wouldn't say it's the best, but it's decent. Um, it's average. So this is Super Bowl or bust. Um, yeah. Um, guys, that's it in my opinion. So on the Falcons Coach of the Year winner for me, two thousand nineteen twenty season is Sean Payton. Sean Payton wins Coach of the Year. Anyways, comment below what you think. Um. Of this prediction, I'll be coming out with more prediction videos predicting the NFL awards. Um, probably most of them today. If not, it will flood into to tomorrow. Anyways, guys, that's it. Best for Star 1130. Bye.